Welcome to the 3D Laser Box Drone Machine. This is an exciting machine and it's quite powerful as well. Let me show you how it works. The 3D Laser Box operates on some very simple functions. You have the main power key that you turn. You have what I like to think of as like a primer, but really all it's doing is it's releasing electricity by pushing it once. And then um, you have a control button that you need to push and the laser button that you need to push. So essentially one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, the laser is ready to operate. Now you also have a key here. Generally you want to keep it in the locked position. All this key does is it keeps the laser in safety mode so that if any staff were to open this door while the laser is burning, the laser will actually stop shooting. If however, you want to remove that safety mode, you can unlock it by turning this key. A light goes on and now if the laser was operating and you open the door, it would continue burning. Now what you see here is a single door. We actually have an upgraded model, which has a filter door where we can see inside the machine. If you order the default model of the drone machine, it comes with an opaque black door. My personal take on this is, is that the transparent door allows you to see how many crystals have been completed. It also more importantly, allows you to at a quick glance, see if there's anything going wrong. For example, if an image is burning in a wrong spot because of an operator error, perhaps they put the wrong sized crystal inside. Maybe they prepared the file at a wrong size. It allows you to catch it very quickly so that you can prevent damage and wasted time. When you open up the door, the light goes on and you're able to now see a table. By default, you'll load your crystal on the bottom left corner if you're loading one crystal piece. So the origin is the bottom left corner. You load it there, your image will burn at the perfect position if you're burning single mode. The beauty of this machine is the fact that it is a multi-mode machine. That means that it comes with many templates that you can actually load by simply popping it onto the table. There's nice pegs that enable it to fit perfect to position. And now you can load multiple crystals, one crystal there, one crystal there, one crystal there. In this case, you could load a maximum of three. However, we have templates that allow you to load a maximum of 30 pieces. We have others that are kind of in between 15, 18, 12, just depending on the crystal sizes that you're burning, you'll choose the appropriate template. Once you've loaded your glass, you simply close the door. The light inside will actually turn off and you'll be able to see the laser striking if you have the upgraded door once the laser starts burning. Now we're going to talk about the software. You just simply double click on it and it will launch the 3D laser box software. It's a fairly easy to use software. All you need to do is click on the folder here and load what's called an RMD file. Some lasers might use a TKBR file. In this case, this particular laser is an RMD. You can save these files in Cockpit 3D, the software that you're gonna use to prepare your files for your laser. So when you load the file, you'll see the file is actually already there. And all you have to do is click on go. The table will move to position. I have this on unlock mode, so you can actually see the laser will start burning because I'm keeping the door open to start with. The crystal is actually right on the corner here. It references and then it moves to position. While the table is moving, the lens is also moving down and you'll actually see it very shortly. And once it's at the right focal distance, it will start shooting and now it's shooting into the glass. If I close the door, you can actually see inside the laser striking. Now, if you want to stop, if you want to pause, you can click on pause, continue it later. If you want to stop it, you can click on stop. No problem. That's if you're burning single mode. Again, the power of this machine is multi-mode. So how would you load multi-mode? Most companies will suggest that they can do multi-mode. And most companies will suggest that their lasers, not the 3D laser box, but their lasers will allow you to load multiple crystals on the table as well. What they're not telling you is that all those crystals need to be the exact same style the exact name shape and the exact same image inside. The uh, 3D laser box drone allows you to load multiple styles, multiple shapes, multiple files. That means in this particular case with this template, I have three spots. I could be burning three separate customers orders. And this is how it works. All I have to do is select multi-mode. So by default, I have single mode selected here. What I would do is I would select multi-mode, which is on this side here. 
and I would go to the drop down and select the correct template. So you can see here, I've got a 30 spot template, a 27 spot template. If I clicked on the 12 spot template, it looks like that. As you know, I have a three spot template currently loaded on my table. Click on that. And what I would do is I'm just gonna clear that project and I'm gonna double click. So instead of clicking on the folder now, I'm gonna double click on the spot where I wanna load and I'm just gonna load. So this here, I have a rectangle mini mantle. So that's my first one and I'm gonna load it. And my second one is called a heart medium. And my third one is called a candle and I'm gonna load it. And now you'll actually see that I have three files ready to burn. All I would need to do is put three crystals on the table and close the door, then click on go, walk away and let the laser do its work. There are times where you might wanna change the power on your laser by increasing or decreasing it. You can go into the settings button over here. You don't wanna to touch any of the main settings here. Now, why would you wanna increase or decrease the volts? It simply has to do with what you're noticing in terms of the quality of the burn in your crystal. If your crystal is always cracking and you have the right point space settings and everything is correct in the file that you created, perhaps your power is too high, in which case you'd reduce it. If, however, the image is too light and all your point space settings are correct, then uh, maybe the power isn't high enough. You'll notice over here, we have an LED panel and this LED panel will kind of give you an idea of what the output amperage is. It'll give you some temperature readings. You don't have to bother too much about what you're seeing over here. The only time you'd really want to take a look over here is if ever you needed to read where your amps coming out were, and you do have a simple visual to do that. The other thing I want to point out is how this laser needs to be wired up. It's actually quite simple. You've got your monitor going to a PC. You've got your PC connected to the laser from the back. So we have three cables that plug into the back of the machine. We have an ethernet cable similar to an internet cable, but we're not actually plugging this into any routers. This is going directly into our PC. We have a controller cable, which is also going into our PC. And we have the power cable. Behind this power cable, you also have circuit breaker switch. Um, and you're just gonna keep that in the on position, which will allow power to flow. Your PC, that comes with the laser will allow you to operate the machine very simply. You can also upgrade your PC. If you choose to run Cockpit 3D with heavy files on your PC that's connected to the laser, you can upgrade your PC as well. So if you wanna find out more about the 3D laser box, simply go to the start of business section of our website, fill out the fields and speak to an account manager.